Are next guard and Brevecto safe? And what are the alternatives? Should you be worried about the risk of seizures? That's what I'm talking about today. And my next question is from Renee, who asks, um, given the warning in September of 2018 by the FDA regarding Nexgard and other drugs in that class, which indicate potential negative side effects, which product would you recommend for her dog Bella, who also has syringeomyelia? Um, so let's start off with the fact that the FDA released a memo about the isoxazoline class of drugs and that includes products like Nexgard but also Brevecto, Simparica and Credilio. Um, they fall all under that isoxazoline class of drug. Um, these drugs are used to treat and prevent flea infestations and also to kill ticks um, and when they were first released the recognised side effects really were diarrhoea, vomiting, drooling and inappetence but over time it's become apparent that there are very rare instances of muscle tremors, wobbliness and even seizures in dogs taking these drugs. You know the incidence though is very very low so it's important not to over exaggerate that um, but it doesn't always include dogs that had a previous history of seizures so if a dog who's had seizures before you might expect them to be more affected but actually some dogs have had seizures who haven't had a history of that in their in their past. So, you know, I think potentially we shouldn't be using these classes of drug in dogs with epilepsy. Um, and probably it's a good idea to be cautious if there is a history of seizures or if there's felt to be a high risk of a, a dog developing seizures, you know, over and above what that normal risk was would be. Now, this FDA alert was really to further publicise the potential risks of these drugs rather than reporting a previously unknown potential side effects. So it's been known that these classes of drugs can cause neurological signs but really they are still considered safe and they're still considered an effective treatment um, because the risk of this is very very low. Um, you know it any drug that we give and I've said this kind of time and again any drug that we give that's actually doing something has the potential to cause side effects. Um, we shouldn't lose focus of the fact of why we're giving these drugs in the first place. You know, that said, there are plenty of other flea prevention and treatment products out there that are very effective. You know, they will all come with their own risk of side effects, though, as well. Um, much like these isoxazoline drugs, though, the risk is very, very small. There are also several other tick products, although in my mind, really, the only one that is just about as effective as this class of drug is the Soresto Collar. So there are other drugs that are licensed for the uh, for, to, to kill ticks and to, to prevent ticks from biting and feeding. But really, in my experience, they're not nearly as effective or as rapid in their ability to kill ticks as either the Soresto Collar, so long as that's applied properly um, and it's renewed when it needs to be renewed or the isoxazolines. I think they've kind of been revolutionary in our ability to um, prevent tick bites, um, to kill ticks much more rapidly um, and much more effectively and reliably and so prevent tick-borne disease. Now the best product to use for any individual dog, it really depends on the local risk of parasites um, and the diseases that are that, 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 that they can potentially carry, which are present in some areas but not others. And that's something that I'm actually going to kind of come to in a later question in today's episode. Um, and, you know, if you're wondering about ticks in particular for a rundown of ticks, um, especially in relation to Lyme's disease, then I'll make sure I add a link in the show notes to one of my previous articles that discusses all about this. But the bottom line is, is that Nexgard, Brevecto, Simparica, they are very effective drugs. They do a very good job of both preventing flea infestations, treating flea infestations and um, killing ticks. Um, and they do a much better job than the vast majority of other tick products out there. And although there is a risk of developing tremors and even seizures, this risk is very, very, very low. So it's something like less than one in 10,000 dogs will experience this and it's likely to be much lower. So, you know, while we need to bear all of these things in mind and if your dog is epileptic, we should definitely be cautious, um, but we don't want to over exaggerate the risks when there are potential benefits and when we're using them to treat or to prevent, sorry, diseases like Lyme's disease, which are potentially fatal. You've been watching the Dr. Alex Answers video podcast. Remember to subscribe and head over to DrAlexAnswers.com for any links, downloads, and get your question answered.